Welcome back to DX1. Today we have another crypto tutorial. We'll take a look at my Ether wallet, or shortly called Mew. They proudly call themselves Ethereum's original wallet. And indeed, they have been around for a very long time. Please mind that like most non-custodial wallets, Mew is rather a service offering you to create and access a wallet you create on your own. We will do so now. First, we head to the official website myetherwallet.com. Please take great care that you type in the URL correctly. There are a lot of scams out there, which will use an identical looking site and just write the name a little bit differently in order to pull your funds. The best way to be safe is that you go to the official page once and create yourself a bookmark, then only access it through there. We had to create new wallet. Nowadays, Mew offers a mobile application and this is the safest way to create a new wallet. Other than that, you can create your own key store file, which is a very old school way of doing it. We do not recommend it if you do not exactly know what you're doing. Furthermore, you could also create it directly on the site with a 12 or 24 word backup phrase. We also do not recommend that as your seed phrase is in danger if you do not use the page offline. We still wanted to mention those possibilities, but we will go for a safer way and more on backup phrases in a bit. Download the MyEtherWallet app in the iOS App Store or on Google Play. Also here, take great care that it is offered by the official MyEtherWallet. I will do so through my browser now and install it on my Android device. We open the application and select create a free wallet. We are offered some safety tips and we recommend that you take the time and read it in peace. Next, you can choose a PIN code for yourself. This is for accessing your wallet or to confirm transactions later. You could theoretically add biometric access such as fingerprint as well. After your account has been generated, we select start using my Ether wallet. Basically, our wallet is already created, but we still have to do the most important step. Back up our account. No one can recover your wallet or your funds except the person having your seed phrase. We click backup now, read the warning carefully and continue. If you miss to do so right away, you can also head to the settings and view your recovery phrase. Be very careful with who can access your device and with who you share your data. Again, an important disclaimer. Your seed phrase is how you can recover your funds and wallet, even if your devices fail or if Mew would not exist anymore. A seed phrase is a universal cryptographic key. This also means you could take those words and import it into another wallet service, like say for example Metamask, if you need or wish to do so. These are always either 12 or 24 words. In this case, we have 24. Next, you will have to perform a quick test on the device to confirm that the wallet is successfully backed up. It is best not to store those words on any device. Don't even copy and paste them. Rather, write them down physically on a piece of paper. Maybe make another copy and store it in a safe place only you know. With these simple steps, you just became your own bank. Another important detail is that the pin you set before is only for unlocking your device. If someone has your seed phrase, your funds are not safe. Please always remember that too. Now that we have backed up our wallet, we can see our dashboard, can copy our public key to receive ETH which we will need for gas to do anything on the network. Congratulations on creating your wallet. You can now start accessing the world of crypto and decentralized applications. That's already it for today's video. I hope this tutorial could help you. There is also a similar video about MetaMask on our channel. It is simply a different wallet provider. People use both so you can choose or decide for yourself. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for further videos and follow our social media channels for regular updates about everything crypto and DX1. Bye.